So once we have written our first code in, in Kotlin, which is hello aliens, let's go for some object oriented concept. Now, when you say object oriented concept, the first thing which comes to our mind is, is class, right? So we have to get a class and we have to get an object of it. Now, just to make it simple, what I will do is I will create a simple class called as aliens and that alien class will have two properties. We'll go for age and we go for name. So I will say, we'll say new. And this time we'll go for Kotlin file again. Again, in the next, in, some, in, in coming videos, we'll also talk about Java class. How can we do that? Time we will, let's create a class here. And I want to create a, a class in Kotlin. And we'll name this class as alien itself. So I will say a class name is alien. I will click on OK. Now, as you can see, this is a normal class which we normally do in Java, right? But th this is a Kotlin class. Now, if I, because how we can re verify that, can you, see, can you see the extension there? It says alien.kt. So kt means Kotlin, right? Now, how to create a variables here? So if you remember in Java, we, when you want to create a variable, we simply say a variable type, I mean data type first, and then we mention the variable name, right? In Kotlin, you have to mention var or val. Now in Java, we, norm, we use a concept of value uh, we use the concept of final, right? So to create a constant, we use final, right? But in Kotlin, we don't have to do that. When you say val, it means a variable. When you say val, it means it's a constant. Time in, let's go for a variable. I want to create a variable called as name. So let's only go for name for time bin. So I got this variable here, right? Now this variable need an initial value there. So I will give a default value, which is blank. Okay, but then we have to also specify the type, right? Because it's a type safe language. So we'll give a colon and we'll say this is of type string. So when you want to specify the type of it, you just simply specify a colon and then specify the type. So you can see we got a variable which is name here. Now, how do we use this variable inside our code? So we got our, let's go back to first code. How can you access that variable? It's very easy. You simply have to create object of alien. Oh, question arise, how do we do that? Now again, creating a object goes into two steps, right? First you have to create a reference and then you can create an object. How do we get a ref reference here? You say var and then we'll say this is the first alien. I will go for a uh, alien called as her or maybe, uh, maybe, uh, okay. Um, so maybe, okay. So what, what should I name my alien? I will say t2, t2, t2. So I got my first alien, which is t2. Now, T2 is a variable, T2 is a, uh, is a uh, alien here. I don't know what, what to name aliens here, but that, okay, ignore that thing. Now, how do we create an object? In Java, we use a new keyword, right? And in, in, in Kotlin, we don't have to do that because in Scala, when we use new keyword, it, see, for experienced people, it is very normal now, but then for the, for freshers, they always imagine, you know, why do we use, have, why do we have to even use that keyword new? So Kotlin says, don't have to do that. You simply have to mention alien and then a bracket. You got your object. You, there's no need for, there's no need for uh, a new keyword there. Now, once you got this object, you simply say t2 dot. If you want to assign the value, simply say name. I can assign the values there. I can assign the name of alien, uh, that t2 as hush. Hush is t2 here. And then we can also print the value, right? So how do I print it? It's very simple. We'll say print ln. And here we can say, uh, name is, and we can give a colon. Now, if you remember in Java, you cannot say uh, t2 dot name, right? Because it will give you the name itself. Let's run this code. Let's see what happens if you, if you write something like this. And you can see we are, we are waiting for the output. Come on, make it fast. It only takes time with the compilation, okay? If you, if you got the code, if you got the bytecode, it will not take much time. So as you can see, we're getting the output as uh, name is t2 name. That does, that's not what we want, right? So we have to write this after the after the double quotes. So we normally do this. We do we we do in this way, right? This is concatenation, and this this will work as you can see. If I run this code, uh, it's taking some time. Come on, make it fast. Okay, you can see we got the output as name is Hirsch. So that means we have to use concatenation. So it is so easy to work with uh, alien here. So as you can see, we got a class. We don't have to mention anything else. It is same like Java class. Again, we'll see the importance of this in, in, in coming videos. What are the advantage of using uh, Kotlin class other than Java class? Again, you can write a Java code here, which will work with Kotlin code. Again, we'll see that in coming videos. So there are lots of things coming on the way. So stay tuned. Uh, in fact, we'll be completing the entire series in a week. 
let's let's see how how that works so you can see we are getting the name here but then the problem is you okay i uh, i was never a fan of concatenation before so what if you can just simply write this in double quotes itself because i don't want to use i don't want to use uh, concatenation in between so what you can do is you can give a dollar symbol and a curly brackets so if you can write your variable inside the curly brackets and a dollar sign it will take the value of it okay so you can see it gives a different color to it that means it can actually fetch the value now so if you run this code we got the output as name is hush right so we can also use this one or we can use concatenation right so that's how we can write or we can create a class and that's how we can use it in fact it has lots of features which we'll see in the next video so i hope you're liking all these videos so make sure you click on the like button and do subscribe for for the videos thank you so much for watching and uh stay tuned